All right, I got the uh, full just just got to get the red chili peppers here. And we're gonna go through it one by one, chronological order. We go through every single one of them. We got the disc, got the full booklet. You know, it's like this for every single one of them. But I'm just gonna go through it so you guys can see that this is what it is. You know, I got the got the full booklet and all that. Now, when I get these CDs or when I was collecting back then, I would just buy it. Some of them, you know, are not full books. They're just a couple pages because it's just like a little project EP or a single. Some of them are like that. But when I was collecting back in the day, I wouldn't... All I did was just buy, buy this CD and throw it on my computer when I get home, get home, I put it on my iTunes, so that way I could put it on my iPod. So these CDs aren't really played, I mean some of them are used, I got used, uh, but they all work. I never played them, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I would just buy them, put them on my computer, put them on my iPod, and that'd be it. So they're all in very good condition, everything's in very good condition. Uh, you know, it's all here. This is top five, top five favorite albums of my life right here. I got the vinyl pieces, the collectible. I also have all the Red Hot Chili Peppers DVDs, but those are not being sold. I can't replicate those on my iTunes. He's a, uh, breaking the girl single. Um. Oops. Obviously, you know, some of these are more popular than others. Um, but like I said, I have a <laughs> I got basically everything. You know, all their full albums. Um, a lot of their greatest hits, best of compilations. See, like this is just like a lesser known best of co compilation right here, off of their 1980s albums. Um, so there, ain't, there is not like like a booklet or anything. You know, it's just uh, one single page like that. Uh, this is live from London, recorded um, August 28th, 1994. So this is with. Uh, uh, Dave Navarro on guitar. This is while wow, Freshante wasn't with the band. Um, so when I got the CDs, you know, I would um, put my computer and then put them on my shelf. Um, I had a nice collection going. And then I got too big for my bookshelf, and I was double stacking and everything. Uh, so I ended up just stacking everything up in boxes, chronological order, you know. My stuff is always very organized. You know, the, uh, it's my friend single here. Aeroplane single. Um... Yeah, so they just been sitting for a long time. There's the full book that's in there. I don't know. It's a lot of pages. On me. You get the idea. I'm pretty serious. I was, I was serious about this back in the day. It's a single right here. This is just by the way, and then a, um, a couple other unreleased or not unreleased, but you know, like B sides basically. It's a Stadium Arcadium album. Uh, Desecration Smile single off the Stadium Arcadium album. This has the live version of Funky Monks, as you can see right there. Out of all of the stuff I have, this is the only live version of Funky Monks I've got, and it is fantastic. Oh my god, I love that. The uh, Humpty Bump single. 
you know, as it is. Now this right here, Canvas Club, is a live recording from, um, I got this online. It's a live recording that they did um, after the Stadium Arcadium album, during the tour of that uh, Stadium Arcadium tour. Um, they did this in a radio, at a radio station in London. Uh, and the set list is great. Um, my particular favorite is uh, Soul to Squeeze right here because it's something in, it's hard to find that live um, they did it at 99 Woodstock um, but other than that it's, it's not a very common performing uh, performance for them but this is <laughs> this whole thing is very very good you know uh one of their newer ones right here the most recent one I believe I think they have one coming out here shortly but I'm with you and then I got some bonus ones right here here's the Woodstock 99 they don't have it released on anything I just I downloaded all the songs and put them all in order and so this is the Woodstock 99 performance uh, Live at Slaying Castle disc 1 and disc 2 which is what I'm listening to right now they have this on DVD uh, they might have it released on audio I'm not sure uh, but this is the audio of that performance. And then uh, here we go. The uh, uh, the uh, performance here live in Hyde Park. See this this right here, the Slane Castle one. This is in 2003 following the By The Way album. This is 2004 right here following the By, By The Way album as well. I mean, they're uh, two separate tours, but uh, they, were all, they were the same uh, time period, same... Era, I should say and then um, I also have uh, a couple of documentaries here I mean they're like interviews I should say uh, they're both two discs um, this one right here has a DVD with it no I'm sorry this one has a DVD with it um, but it's basically just interviews uh, some like backstage footage you know a little bit of live footage they're they're uh, interesting listens, uh, especially. And then uh, I'll just uh, as a little bonus, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in these two CDs. Uh, Chickenfoot is a band that Chad Smith joined. Well, not joined, I should say, but you know, it was just like a group that he got with, I guess, just to record this one album. It's got Sammy Hagar and vocals. This was in. Uh, was it 2009? Yeah, 2009. Chicken Foot. So it's Chad Smith, the drummer from the Chili Peppers. This right here is Chad Smith's Bombastic Meat Bats, the drummer from the Chili Peppers. It's, uh, it's another album that he uh, he worked on with some other guys. 2009. Real funky. Um, so there you go. That's my Chili Peppers. Whoever ends up with these, I know that you guys will take care of them the way that I did.